These are the two olive trees and the two lampstands that stand before the Lord of the earth. If anyone wants to harm them, fire comes from their mouth and consumes their enemies. If anyone wants to harm, harm them, he must be killed in this way. They have authority to close up the sky so that it does not rain during the days of their prophecy. They also have the power of the waters to turn them into blood and to strike the earth with every plague whenever they want. When they finish their testimony, the beast that comes up out of the abyss will make war on them, conquer them, and kill them. Their dead bodies will lie in the main street of the great city, which figuratively is called Sodom and Egypt, where also their Lord was crucified. And some of the peoples, tribes, languages, and nations will view their bodies for three and a half days and not permit their bodies to be put into a tomb. Those who live on the earth will gloat over them and celebrate and send gifts to one another because these two prophets had tormented those who live on the earth. earth. But after three and a half days, the breath of life from God entered them and they stood on their feet. Great fear fell on those who saw them. Then they heard a loud voice from heaven saying to them, Come up here. They went up to heaven in a cloud, and their enemies watched them. So today I have a commentary by Ecumenius, which uh, seems to be a few writers, maybe possibly um, a bishop in Greece, um, dating back to the 6th century. Um, he writes on verses 7 and 8, the prophets will testimony, testify that one, the one who is present is not the Christ, but a certain rogue, a deceiver and a destroyer. He will in no way come as the Son of God, in whom one must believe as Savior and as God, and who came for the benefit of humankind, both in his appearance long ago and in his present appearing. It speaks of the beast that ascends from the bottomless pit. He calls the Antichrist a beast because of his savagery, his inhumanity and his thirst for blood. He calls the life of the people a bottomless pit, for it is bitter and distasteful on account of sins and unstable because it is buffeted about by evil spirits. For the sinful one will not arise out of any other substance, but out of our own human nature. For, for he will be a man whose coming is in the activity of Satan. 2 Thessalonians 2.9 As was just now said, This beast, it says, will kill the two witnesses and will cast their dead bodies unburied in the streets of Jerusalem. For in, in it we rule as the king of the Jews, whom he will deceive. And he will come to those who assist and trust him in everything. As the Lord said in the Gospel of John, I have come in my Father's name, and you will not receive me. If another comes in his own names, him you will receive. John 5.43 He calls Jerusalem Sodom, not, because, not in a literal sense, but in a spiritual sense, on account of the licentiousness and ill repute it possesses at, in that time. And he calls Egypt because it has enslaved and abused the servants of Christ, just as the actual Egypt did in Israel, did to Israel. And it was there where also their Lord, that is the Lord of the two witnesses, was crucified.